We start with late-breaking developments in the investigation into the death of a Wilkesbury City woman. The death of 52-year-old Judith Kamiski has now been ruled a homicide by the Luzerne County Coroner's Office. An autopsy shows she was stabbed to death. Police say the search for her killer is intensifying tonight. Never a, an unkind word. She was always very nice. Dwayne Vital lives across the street from Judith Kamiski. He could not believe what he was seeing Thursday afternoon as Wilkesbury police converged on the Comiskey home at 123 Willow Street in South Wilkesbury. Comiskey's body was discovered by a neighbor at around 1.30 Thursday. An autopsy Friday shows she died from multiple sharp force injuries, stabbed to death. Detectives say she was so badly wounded they could not determine at first if she had been stabbed or possibly shot. Investigators were back in the neighborhood Friday looking for evidence, any clue that might help lead to Comiskey's killer. Vital says he lost a neighbor and a friend. She was a nice lady, nice to talk to. She'd always wave. She was always out here doing stuff. Comiskey is the sister of a man who was murdered on the same street a block away six years ago. 49-year-old Donald Bachman was shot to death outside his Willow Street home in May of 2015. Bachman's stepdaughter, Kendra Diaz, pleaded guilty last year to one count of solicitation to commit criminal homicide. Prosecutors allege Diaz paid somebody $1,500 to have Bachman killed. Diaz never disclosed a motive, and the person who fired the shots has never been arrested. Vital says that Comiskey often talked about her brother's murder. She told me she lost her brother, and she was pretty well heard about it. She always told me she felt really bad that, you know, what happened to her brother. Now, Wilkes-Barre police are asking anybody with information about Comiskey's or Botman's murder to give them a call.